going to talk about picking verse legato with your playing or with your solos or with your, with your scales or whatever, um, and the benefits of both of each one. So first of all, let's look at picking. That means I just been picking a scale all the way through. So that would be, for example, if you looked at C minor, we would be going. So just picking every single note. And the opposite of that, doing hammer-ons and pull-offs wherever we can, or legato playing. So the main benefit of picking is it's more forceful, it's louder, but the big one for me, I think, is that it's easier to stay in time. You really nail the timing with your right hand. Uh, one of the drawbacks is that it can sound very staggered and very kind of machine gunny, so da 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 as opposed to a nice smooth flow, which the legato, the hammer-ons and pull-offs, technique has. Uh, but one of the drawbacks of the legato technique is that it's very hard to control the timing. Of course you can if you work at it, but it just never feels as rhythmically solid as picking every note. A lot of players are based on both, uh, both, uh, both techniques. So a lot of rock players use a lot of the legato things. A lot of the shred players use a lot of picking. A lot of the jazz players use a combination of the two. Um, and that's what I want to talk about today, is how to combine the two. So one of the techniques that I've found the most useful personally for combining the two is if you think about legato and hammer-ons, it's very easy to use these three fingers, but your little finger is always a bit of a struggle. Of course, so you should work at it and try to get it as good as you can, but it's always going to be a little bit weaker than the other three fingers. So one way I've found a useful way to combine the legato and the picking and get the best of both worlds is to do legato whenever I can, except for if the little finger is involved. Anything involving the little finger, I pick. Everything else, I do legato. So, for example, with the first one, we have uh, in a C minor scale, descending, if I start on an E flat, we have the 11th fret, the 10th fret, and then the 8th fret. So what I would do is pick the first two, because they, that's the little finger, and then do a pull off for the next one. Up on the next string, we then have 11, 9, 11, 9 8. So again, I pick the first two, the little finger and the second finger, because I don't want to have to do a pull-off with that little finger. And then I'm free to do a pull-off with the last one. So that's the simple rule. Legato whenever you can, except for if your little finger's involved. No hammer-ons or pull-offs with your little finger. You always pick those. And you get a nice, smooth sound. In fact, you get an interesting dimension to your scale, where it's going in and out of those two worlds. The smooth world of legato and the more forceful, rhythmic world of picking. So if I just do a scale to give you an example, uh, well, that was a bit messy, but you get the idea. A really good way to combine the best of both worlds, get the rhythmic control of the picking, but the smooth sound of the legato.